Hello, what's up YouTube? Ronix with Eta Natural and in this tutorial I'll show you guys how I edit my full body images in Photoshop. So it's basically going to be a skin retouching and a color grading tutorial for this very image I took using natural light and the settings I used, I, you can see it is a raw file and I used a Canon 6D camera as you can see. I saw 125, 85mm lens at f4 and out 640th of a second. So I want to show you guys how I'm going to color grade and retouch this very image and you can also use the same steps for color grading and skin retouching for your full body portraits in Photoshop. So we want first of all do a camera adjustments for this very image and my first step is usually to calibrate my image in the camera profile I shot the image. So I'm going to come and I usually I shoot in landscape and I'm just going to come and select Adobe landscape and you can see I already have those nice and vibrant colors So I'm going to come to the highlights and just going to knock that, them down slightly Then pump up my whites because I want the, the highlights to glow in this image And also knock down my blacks just a little bit to around Negative 9 and I'm going to pull my contrast all the way down to around Negative 34 Then when I'm done doing all that I'm going to come to Remember Canon usually adds uh, magentas to the image as you can see right here it has added magentas up to 8 so I'm just going to come to the opposite of magenta uh, which is the green so I think I'm comfortable with those colors right there. So after doing that I'm going to basically come and add some clarity to this image around 2 and also reduce on the saturation and the vibrance for this particular image and I'm going to open the image straight into Photoshop for skin retouching and color grading and we are basically going to be doing this back and forth in this tutorial so I'm going to, be, I'm going to open the image by hitting open so that we can retouch the image into Photoshop so don't mind that is how we are going to get the image to look like so let me show you guys I want the image to be retouched to look like this. So let me just open this and I'm going to come first things first crop the image in a ratio of 45. So come and select 45 because I have intentions of posting this to my Instagram and I'm just going to come down here and uh, align the image then crop these highlights just a little bit in just like that. So I feel like this is enough. So hit enter on the keyboard to approve the crop settings. Then I'm going to first of all remove or clean up the blemishes from this very image. So I'm going to create a new layer by hitting Ctrl Command J on the keyboard. Then get to my patch tool and I'm going to start uh, removing the blemishes from this particular image. So I'm basically selecting uh, the blemish and moving to a clean area to replace that blemish with a clean part of the skin. So I think that looks okay. So that is nice. So I'm going to come right above here and zoom in to the face and just remove these tiny blemishes in the model's face just. And you can notice the other droplets you see are from the water from the pool. So we shouldn't tamper with those since uh, this is a pool side uh, themed shoot. So Let's just clean up those annoying blemishes. So I think we are done with the top areas. So we just want to come and I remove these uh, blemishes right down below. So let's just come and uh, get rid of that small blemish right there. I think that looks okay. So let's get rid of this what it could be uh, really annoying. So I think that is a nice replacement so I think I'm done removing the blemishes so it is time for uh, doing the skin retouching so I'm going to match these two layers by hitting shift alternate command E on the keyboard shift control E on the keyboard to match these two layers and I'm going to come to my actions and I'm going to play my 16-bit action and for those interested in uh, learning about how to create and record your actions that are going to enable you speed up your skin retouching I'm going to put a link for you guys right above here so, so that you can learn about everything about all those steps. 
I'm going to come and select my 16-bit image. Since this is a 16-bit image, I'm going to play my 16-bit uh, frequency separation action. I'm just going to play it. So for the radius, I usually zoom out and look for the skin details. So I move this radius up to a point when the details are starting to get lost from the image. So I'm going to go with around 4 for this case. So hit OK and I'm going to continue like that. So select the low frequency layer and select the mixer brush tool. Make sure it is a clean brush. These are the settings for my mixer brush tool. And remember, you're going to be using the mixer brush tool to even out the skin tones. Select the second option because we don't want to carry color from one area to another when we are trying to blend or even out the skin tones in the image. Wetness of 9%, load 75, mix 90 and the flow 100. Make sure sample all layers is not marked or checked. So we're going to start evening out the skin tones in this particular image. So zoom in slightly and increase on the size of the mixer brush tool. And after doing that, you can simply left click and start blending or mixing uh, the tones in the particular image you're trying to uh, retouch in this case. So, so I'm basically left clicking and uh, trying to even out by blending the mid-tones alone, uh, the highlights alone, and the shadows alone in this particular image so that we can have those nice and uh, smooth transitions uh, within the skin tones of this particular image. So I think uh, that looks okay. And if at all you feel like uh, the black and white layer is uh, distracting for you, you can as well turn it off like I am about to do because I can't see some of the tones in this image quite well so i'm going to do that so i think uh, that looks okay so turn off the black and white and you can as well work uh, without the help of uh, the black and white layer uh, when you're trying to even out or smoothen or flatten the uneven skin tones in the particular image and you can either reduce on the size of uh, the mixer brush tool by using the brackets right after the letter P on the keyboard. So use those brackets to either decrease or increase on the size of the mixer brush tool as you're trying to even out the skin tones while you're doing your skin retouching for your full body portraits. And you can notice that for full body images, I only prefer to use as a mixer brush tool and I don't apply the second method I use for a skin retouching because uh, this almost or always gets the job done for me so I don't prefer to use uh, the other lasso tool method to even out the skin tones even more so I'm just going to come and I'm just going to blend those tones right here so this is a full body portrait so make sure you retouch each and every a uh, point uh, in the image don't leave any part unretouched so you're just going to zoom in because we want to retouch a smaller area so just come and I blend the chest area of the model just like that I'm basically evening out the skin tones so move up and just come and blend this particular area so make sure you don't blend an area for a long time because it's going to be doubling the wetness effect uh, on that particular area. So just don't do that. So just come this way and uh, do the same. And just blend or harmonize those tones in those uh, particular areas. So reduce on the size if at all you're blending a smaller area. So I had the question a while back. Someone was inquiring like how can they know where to blend and where not to blend. Like it is really obvious because you can see some areas are brighter than uh, the rest. So make sure you uh, blend them according to the way they are kind of uh, matching uh, in that particular image. So I'm going to zoom out. I think we are done uh, doing the skin retouching for this case. So let me just go harmonize there. So you can see the before, after, before, after. So right now I want to uh, match the tones right here. You can see we have some magentas right here and here and it is not matching uh, with the rest of uh, the model's uh, skin. So we just want to uh, match those colors. So I'm going to come and delete this. 
and create a stamp visible here or a screenshot for all we have done for skin retouching by hitting shift alternate command e on the keyboard or shift alternate control e on the keyboard and get my quick selection tool and just click to make a selection on the hand just like that and also select right here i click on the alternate key and now i select those areas so we just want to add some kind of yellows and reduce on the magentas in this area so come to the selective color option and come to the reds of the image and increase on the yellows just like that and simply reduce on the magentas just a little bit so i think that looks fine so you can see the before and after so right now we are done doing the skin retouching and matching the tones in the particular image so right now we want to do further color grading in camera row. so we're just going to create a stamp visible by hitting shift alternate command e on the keyboard and you're going to come to filter and come back to the camera row filter then come right down to the calibration option and you're going to pump up um, the saturation of the red primary and also do the same for the green primary and just reduce on the saturation of the blue primary i think that looks fine so you can see a before and after before after so then let's come to the hso panel and you're going to basically reduce on the saturation of the oranges and i think that looks fine so come and hit ok and after hitting ok come to the selective color option and come to the blacks and just pull the blacks to enhance the darks or the blacks in the models here and move the yellows towards the left hand side to add that kind of cinematic look to the image i think that looks okay and you can see the overall before and after for this image and this has been a tutorial about skin retouching for full body images in photoshop and if at all you have learned something from this tutorial don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you have learned something new from this channel and you have watched this tutorial from this channel for the very first time ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and i'll see you in yet more tutorials on this channel don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating